Hello, I'm Cecilia Dorokin, I'm a perfumer. Uh, I worked with the, the brand Jack Fat for the, this collection, the Fat Essentials collection, uh, composed by four fragrances, including the mythical green water, and uh, we have Vert le Sud, Belle Ombre, and Curaçao Bay. Uh, so we started with the reform reformulation of green water. Uh, so green water was um, created in 1946 uh, by Vincent Roubert. Uh, at the time, and uh, we thought that it was um, um, very interesting to go back to this uh, original version um, and formula uh, because uh, when we all smelled uh, the, the fragrance together at Los Motec, that is kind of a library of the old perfumes that we can no longer uh, buy or use. Um, when we smelled the green water of 1946, we thought that it was still very modern and elegant and that's why we wanted to go back to this um, richness and um, something as deep as the original uh, was this version. Uh, so we worked at Cosmotec uh, also with Jean Carleo, the founder of Cosmotec and former perfumer for Patou. Uh, that gave me a lot of tips and advice uh, about uh, how it was composed at, at the time. So, for example, one key ingredient uh, of green water was, of course, the mint, because it was the, the leader of the, the family called later the citrus aromatic. And so mint is very important and uh, several uh, qualities of mint, uh, actually but also the neroli. Uh, so this is, neroli is the oil of the orange blossom, um, flower, of course. And um, so this is a very um, noble and very rich and expensive uh, ingredient that is very, very important in green water. And this is, um, this is what gives uh, this perfume um, the freshness, the, the, the deepness and, uh, and this is the key ingredient of the cologne. So now we're going to speak about Vers le Sud. So Vers le Sud is a, is a journey close to the, to the sea uh, where you have all the sunny dried smells like the fig leaves, uh, the, the, the woody crisps um, dried by, uh, by the sun and it's a woody marine fragrance so you have a lot of very rich marine notes uh, um, among with the woody notes like ambroxan, cashmere woods, also some oak moss and, uh, and of course uh, some musks. So now let's talk about Belle Ombre. So Belle Ombre is an amber of course but not only, it's, uh, it's a very sensual and elegant uh, fragrance with uh, of course amber but some leathery notes uh, you have also orris butter in it and uh, it's it's a fragrance that is very charismatic very close to the skin and that develops uh, even better uh, on the skin when you wear it uh, maybe for example during the night now let's talk about curacao bay this one so Curacao Bay is a, is a woody marine fragrance and it's a, it's a dive into the deep blue ocean. So you have a lot of marine iodine notes. Um, so with some marine usual uh, notes, but also some real infusion of ambergris uh, because it gives the saltiness also and uh, really the impression of the, the ocean uh, that you smell in this fragrance but also you have a very floral um, side with the frangipani blossom, for example, and you have also some fruity notes like blackcurrant and some musk. Uh, 